Taguchi linear graph in design of experiment. What is it and how to use it? A linear graph is used to visualize the um, interaction between factors. So this is a linear graph. This is a linear graph. This is the design for L8 um, 2 to the power 7. So seven factors uh, with uh, uh, two level each orthogonal array. To understand how to create this design you can, this is the design in Excel and we can see it here in the openeducator.com this is the design. Check this video how to create that. In this video I'll talk about what is the connection between the linear graphs and this design. So in Tagusi design you can see that you can go up to test seven variables using only eight experiments. Now, Taguchi at the beginning says this is a fractional factorial design uh, for sure. And um, so he wants to save money and time. So in the traditional design of experiment, the interaction between factors, they are considered um, afterwards. Once the factor is significant, then we think about the interactions. Now, um, here in one of the video, I have explained how to analyze a traditional factorial uh, design of experiment. You can check that video and you will see that the interaction is not considered at the beginning of the experiment. Now, in a lot of times, we can know the interaction. For example, a music band where the vocal, the drummer, the guitar player, they interact to produce music. So in that kind of situation, we know the interaction. So why, Taguchi said, why not considering that at the beginning of the experiment, unlike the traditional design of experiment. So let's see, we got these two designs here. So let's talk about this. Uh, Taguchi, it doesn't use um, A, B, C, D, E as factor. It uses column 1, 2, 3 instead. Same thing. So let's say we assign factor A in column A, and then factor column 2, we assign B, and column 4, we assign C. And as you can see, these dots represent the main effect, and these lines represent their interaction. So 3 is basically interaction of AB, and then 6 is the interaction of BC, and then 5 is the interaction of AC, and then 7 doesn't do anything, just another variable D. Now, so in running eight experiment, you can check all the way up to seven variables, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Now, if you know that there, there, there would be an interaction between A, V, you don't really, you, instead of that, what we can do is let's assign A factor in column one, B factor in column two, and then C is the interaction of A, B. And then you can check this design, how it is created here, all details interaction here in this Excel file. This is also uploaded in the openeducator.com. Also, you can check this video here, how to create that. And you can see these two generator I have used to create all this Taguzi design. In this video, I'll talk about how to assign these um, different designs, kind of visualize them through the linear graphs. So then uh, column four, we assign variable C. And then, uh, then this column five is the interaction between basically um, A and C. And then column F is the interaction between B, C. And then column uh, seven is a separate factors. So if we are expecting there would be a potential interaction between um, these two variables, these two variables, and these two variables, we should include them in the beginning so we can study better. Uh, and uh, we can done with the experiment just by in one analysis. Um, let's go to the next page. Here is a um, L16. Uh, this is a design L6 in linear graphs for L16 to the power uh, 15. So 15 variables with two level each um, L16. You can find how to create this design right here, um, this one. So you can see how to create that. And then here, basically all possible, these six different arrangements of the design. If you think there are a lot of interaction between all of these variables, you can kind of visualize that way. If you see there is a center factor that actually interacting all different ones, so you can do that way. If you see like just two pairwise interaction, a lot of interaction, so there are so many ways. Here you have also this one is a kind of center interacting factors. Here you got one interacting with four variables a lot. 
and then one of them interacting with two. So there are many possible combinations um, here for this Tagozi linear graph. This is a visualization tool for understanding the interactions before we actually uh, collect or run the analysis. This way, um, you can save more money in terms of running least number of experiments. So basically, to summarize, the linear graphs are used to visualize um, the um, interactions between factors and the design. Um, we can also use linear graph to create uh, the Taguchi design. I'll probably show that in another video. So that's another use of linear graphs. Also, in another video, I'll talk about um, some advanced level uh, Taguchi um, stuff, which is alias structure, design resolution, things those are related to Taguchi design uh, should be um, somewhere here. I'll post another video on that.